Hey, little kitty, all set for the big New Year bash? Yes, kitty, so excited to see fireworks. Bam, boom, ba <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing how something that started as a complete accident became such a big part of our celebrations and happy memories? Wait, accident? Oh yes. So sit tight everyone because I'm about to tell you all about the accidental invention of fireworks. Zoom in! It all started around 600 to 900 AD in ancient China when a curious alchemist was busy in his workshop trying to crack the ultimate mystery how to become immortal. Armed with a bunch of strange ingredients like sulfur, salt pepper and charcoal, he mixed and mashed hoping for a miracle. But instead of eternal life, he stumbled upon something far more explosive, gunpowder. Now, not fully understanding what he had just created, the alchemist decided to test his invention by burning it. And then, poof, it happened. A burst of heat, a bright flash of light, clouds of smoke, and most impressively, a loud Bang! This dazzling discovery probably reminded the alchemist of something else that went pop. Bamboo stalks. You see, it was a common practice back then to throw hollow bamboo sticks into the fire. When heated, the trapped air inside would expand and cause the bamboo to explode with a sharp crack. The Chinese believed these sounds scared off evil spirits. So the alchemist, now brimming with curiosity and a touch of mischief, must have thought, what if we upgrade nature's popper with this new magical powder? And that's exactly what he did. He stuffed the gunpowder mixture into a hollow bamboo stalk, tossed it into the fire, and kaboom! The explosion was louder, brighter, and far more spectacular than anything Bamboo alone could manage. Just like that, the first man-made firecracker was born. The firecrackers quickly became an important tool for keeping bad vibes and ghostly visitors far, far away. But unfortunately, by 980, fireworks weren't just for fun anymore. They were going to war. Yes, they strapped gunpowder to arrows, creating terrifying explosive missiles. Then came the ground rat, a chaotic device that shot in every direction, exploding like a wild rabid firework. Meanwhile, other alchemist was still busy having fun with this newfound toy and by 1180 they had mastered colorful smoke bombs, spinning wheels and rockets. These weren't just tools, they became art. Weddings, military victories and imperial visits became opportunities for spectacular pyrotechnic displays. Fireworks weren't just noise and chaos anymore. They were beauty and celebration. But how did the rest of the world get in on the action? Enter Marco Polo, the famous explorer around 1200 AD. He encountered fireworks while visiting the Mongols, who had picked up the technology from China Naturally, Marco brought this magical invention back to Europe and it spread like wildfire. The Germans and Italians quickly saw dollar signs turning fireworks into a booming business. 
They weren't just creating explosions. They were crafting experiences. The Italians in particular became masters at making firework displays more colorful, intricate and downright magical. By the 1400s, fireworks had become the centerpiece of grand celebrations as kings and queens used fireworks to impress their subjects. Later, Europeans brought them to America where fireworks became an Independence Day staple. Today, fireworks are not just explosions. They are a universal language of joy and celebration. And to think it all started with some curious alchemist mixing powders just to see what would happen. Isn't history lit? Trivia time! Did you know the brilliant colors you see in fireworks come from different metal salts? For example, barium makes green, strontium creates red, copper gives you blue, and sodium produces yellow. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Joel Cora George. Hope you had a blast today! Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, wishing you a very happy and safe new year. Whoa! <laughs> Never mind.